If I know you had a long day at work, I'll massage you, oh. rub your feet. That is the least cringiest part of this whole video, but it is all cringe from here on out. That was season two, episode six of a show called It Takes a Church. It premiered in 2014, and that's around the same time that I discovered it. And when I first watched it, I could not shut up about it. But sadly, nobody seems to remember it. Okay, let's rewind the clock. The first reality TV dating game show was a show called The Dating Game and it premiered on ABC in 1965. Yeah! That show opened up the doors and gave us every kind of dating TV show that any mildly creative, money-hungry producer can think of. The Bachelor, Married at First Sight, Love is Blind, and a little show called Catching Kelsey, where a producer at NBC picked up Travis Kelsey and went, hot, hot, hike, and then threw him to any female who was willing to catch him. In hopes of finding that one special girl. Who's your favorite team? Broncos. I hate them. What? It only ran for one season. I wonder why. My introduction to reality TV dating game shows was a little show called Next that aired on MTV. And I don't even think I can condone it today, but that show was absolutely wild and the contestants were ruthless. Well, do you smoke? Yeah, I actually do. And I have to say next. All of that, my friend, that's child's play. You want pain and suffering and to physically cringe like you've been possessed by Satan himself, look no further than It Takes a Church hosted by Grammy award-winning artist, Natalie Grant. She did a great job of hosting this show, all right? This is, there's gonna be no Natalie Grant slander here at all, okay? I've hosted this stuff, that's a hard job. According to Wikipedia, the show travels to multiple churches across the country looking for single members of congregations looking for a partner. The congregation of the church is primarily in charge of looking at potential daters and judging which one would be the best match. The first season was sponsored by Christian Mingle. A lot of people don't know this, but before Christian Mingle, there were a lot of Christians who were just, just single and out and, and, and robotic and stiff and, and just wishing. I, I, wish I, had a, I wish I had a place online where I could mingle and then Christian Mingle came about. And thank God, because they gave us commercials like this. There are smile categories ranging from casual to flirty. You can even choose to send another user your favorite Bible verse. But I digress. I'm done talking about it. Let me just show you, okay? This is episode six of season two. Can this upbeat California church help a fitness addict shape up her love life? Ropes, some jumping jacks, Man, that's somebody addicted to fitness right there. I was partying too much, and now it's like, the clock is ticking. Now her- In the show, there's a lot of over-the-top excitement. Like, everybody is just, is just, woo, all the time. And I don't know if the like, producers made them, but the level of excitement in the show is highly unnecessary. <laughs> They always get the church to yell, it takes a church. And I'm just gonna warn you, you're gonna hear that sound bite looped way too much in this video. It takes a church. Really wanna help Shannon find love because she is an incredible young lady. She's very career driven. She is big into her physical health. This pastor was a little wise with his compliments, but other episodes, the pastors will be like, well, she is such a beautiful, gorgeous, bodacious, God-loving, soccer-playing woman of God. And, and, and at some point you're like, whoa, yo, maybe you should marry your pastor. The pastor sets it up and there's like matchmakers in the church and they gotta stand up and then try to like set up like, hey, Shannon, you check out this man. How many people remember the movie Jerry Maguire? Instead of show me the money, I would tell him to show me the honey. <laughs> it's not good, but it's solid. One, hey! <laughs> Next. Why not me? Hey, can everybody all real quick? All right, we got it. Does anybody in the congregation challenge this play? And if you want somebody with some heart, right? The mind. Two kidneys. A liver. I believe that couples, there should be a partnership. It should be a team. Awesome. So with that Absolutely. being said, if I, I love how all the ladies sitting around them are like, yeah, let him cook. I said, if I know you had a long day at work, I'll massage you, oh. rub your feet. I don't believe chivalry is dead. Like this is a Sunday morning service. And this guy's got the mic. He's on TV. Cameras are rolling and he's like, I'll massage you, rub your feet. Rub your feet, rub your feet, rub your feet. And I have to say next. 
He's got a nice yellow, really fast Harley Davidson. And you can get on the back and your hair can just do like this. I don't know why they're treating this like a science fair. I don't know who went to Staples and was like, hey, could you print this picture of me on a motorcycle? I'm about to be in a show that air films at a church. Konnichiwa. <laughs> If she's not Japanese. Why did this guy pull out the Japanese for this, man? Ishoni, Santa Monica Beach ni ikimashou on a guy shimas. And that means in Japanese, please let us walk together at Santa Monica Beach. And I have to say next. Speaking another language impresses me. So I just don't get it. I don't get it, dude. No offense to any of the guys here, but that guy, he's just a strikeout. <laughs> Hit a home run, Shannon, with Jeff. Hit a home run with Jeff sounds like a real estate marketing campaign. Like, is this guy trying to date a godly woman or sell townhomes? I'm Cali, born and raised. I also served in the United States Marine Corps. I'm about to serve you next. Oh. I like that he paused a little bit because he was hoping for an applause. I also served in the United States Marine Corps. He was like. How you doing, Shannon? <laughs> I like that Natalie Grant's holding up her hand with her wedding ring on it. It made me feel very tingly inside when Brian said that, especially to hear his deep voice. I just want to tell you right now, you are very gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. This church needs HR. He'll whip out his guitar, strum you a beautiful melody. He'll whip out his guitar sounds like a threat. You're like, hey, he'll whip out his guitar. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. He'll play Hey There Delilah, don't make him do it. Yeah, I can narrow it down to three. <laughs> Yeah. Just a minute. You don't get to be the one making the oh decision. It's called yes, It Takes yes, a Church. Yeah, it's called It Takes a Church, not It Takes a Shannon. It's time to vote. So you're introduced to the contestants in this very weird mid-service Sunday morning contact. Now we get into the group challenge portion of this so she could figure out which one of these guys are gonna be her soulmate. This challenge today is based on deal breakers things that cannot be negotiated, they cannot be compromised. Sometimes when we're dating, we cannot ask those important questions that we'd like. So today, I'm gonna do it for you. Match the answer with Shannon. You'll advance one space, and Shannon will be behind that locked fence. Shannon is gonna be behind this three foot tall locked fence, dude. Free Shannon. And the first bachelor to move up five will use their key to unlock Shannon from behind that fence. And you will get 10 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with Shannon. You get 10 minutes locked in with Shannon in this see-through dog fence? A, someone who smokes, or B, someone with bad hygiene? It's your answer. So Shannon, what answer did you pick? B, because it's important to me that a man smells good and brushes his teeth. All three of you get to move up one space. Oh. It's all right, Nathan. Uh, it's all right. Is, is it all right, though? A, someone who has kids, or B, someone who doesn't want kids. B, I was a preschool teacher for 10 years, so I can't wait to have my own mini-me's. Do any of you already have kids? No. 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 I do have a six-month daughter. Uh-oh. Wait. Six months. Six months? Well, what you doing on oh this show? Oh <laughs> Everyone's response as well. Also, six months, dude. That's a baby, dude. Six months. Six months? Well, what you doing on oh this show? Oh <laughs> Next. This matchmaker's like, what you doing on this show? Well, what you doing on oh this show? <laughs> the math not mathin'. The whole setup for this is just so weird. She's behind this tiny, like, dog fence. Free Shannon. The pastor's got them red, blue, pill Lawrence Fishburne glasses. Okay, he's reading these questions. They're advancing on tiny, tiny TED Talk carpets. And also all the matchmakers at Natalie Grant are like in Video Village, like, mm hmm The next challenge is they have to go through a corn maze that has questions about the guy or Shannon, and they have to answer them. If they get them wrong, they have to go back to the beginning of the corn maze. I don't know why a corn maze is involved. I have no idea. Then they sit down with the pastor. The pastor essentially asks them, hey, why wouldn't you want to date yourself? In stressful situations, I tend to kind of just lay low a little bit, but figure out the problem. It, to me, that shows that he's not really a leader. So now we're down to two guys, and each of them take her on a date. And the first guy takes her on a kayaking trip, which is probably the most Christian mingle first date I've ever seen in my life. You know what I've always wanted to do? What? 
Stand up in one of these. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Next. Do a, uh, what is this? We call this hug a vest hug. A vest hug. Yeah, there you go. It's just a hug. It's, the hug isn't classified by what you were wearing. I've never given anybody a business casual hug. The other bachelor takes her on a date to a paint and sip little situation. That's really a great job, actually. Thank you. I need to take you some of your art classes on my downtime. You know? <laughs> so now we're back to the resolution and where else to do this? But a Sunday morning service, all right? It's Natalie Grant. <gasps> oh. Oh, you didn't think Natalie Grant was gonna sing, did you? You were wrong. Now for the moment that you've all been waiting for. Come on, Pastor Shannon, come up here. I want you to walk out that door, and when you come back in, I want you to be on the arm of the bachelor you've chosen. The truth is, Shannon would do great with either one of these men. Go get him, girl. And I really appreciate Natalie Grant's ability to code switch. Like she's in an African American church, and she got a little, she got a little groove. Like she's got a little bounce. Go get him, girl. Go get him, girl. Go get him, girl. When in Rome, right? Like she's into it. <laughs> I love that the pastor gave him like a Tiger Woods, like big dog. Only she knows her heart, you know, and uh, she has to follow that. So, you know, I don't knock her at all. You know, good luck to her, actually. Good luck to her, actually, is a really passive aggressive way of wishing someone well. Good luck to you, actually. Hey, God bless you, actually. We just exchanged digits, so we're gonna go on some, <laughs> we're gonna go on some real dates. I like that they've known each other for about a week and finally kind of went up in front of the church and was like, hey, we're, we're together, I guess. And they were like, Hey, maybe I should get your number. We can't just, thank you I, enough that, for dude, helping that, Shannon and Randy find each other because as you know, it takes a church. What a roller coaster of an experience. I could only pick one episode to react to, but I really wish I could just spend like 15 hours watching each episode and commenting on them. I am pro matchmaking. Six years ago, a friend of mine named Mason sent me a picture of a girl named Grace and also gave me her number. And then he sent Grace a picture of a young man named Shama. He introduced us, we hit it off, and we got married, all right? We've been married for five plus years. We have three kids. Matchmaking works, but matchmaking is also hard because I tried it one time. There was a guy who I know, good friend of mine, who he was single, and there was a young lady at our church who was also single, and I, I, I went to him, and I was like, hey, you should get to know her. And then I went to her, and I was like, hey, you should get to know him. And and they 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 did not, it did, it, it did not, work, okay? I tried matchmaking one time and I failed. I have a 100% failure rate. But not only that, my friend and also this young lady are both dating other people. So I almost, by making this suggestion, I almost butterfly affected for people's future, all right? And that's something that I'm never, I'm just like, hey, that's not for me. Y'all can meet each other like in the wild, meet on Tinder, Christian Mingle, I don't care. I'm not involved anymore. I wanted to end the show with a whole critique on Christian entertainment and yada, 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 yada. But a friend of mine named Jonathan did a much better version of this when he listened to Nothing But K-Love for a whole week. So you can go watch that video. I'm going to be listening to Nothing But K-Love for a whole week. You gotta check out It Takes a Church. Two seasons, Pluto TV, they're not paying me anything for this. And I really, I'm begging you, okay? I strongly encourage you. When you have some friends over, if you wanna watch something that's completely wholesome. It takes a Daughter, show me the honey. Rub your feet. What you doing on this show? Go get him, girl. Go online, find it. Oh, I spent way too much time on this video. If you liked it, subscribe, you know, like, leave a comment. Leave a comment after you've watched an episode on Pluto as well, come back and leave a comment and tell me what your favorite one was. If I can encourage people to have, it takes a church watch parties at their houses, I think I'll be able to die a happy man, all right? I had some friends over a couple months ago and I made them watch an episode of It Takes a Church. So I'm smoking what I'm selling when I say that. I think I'm done both smoking and selling on this. So see you on the next one.